Breaking news coming in. This are Chinese army helicopters uh, intruded into Indian airspace on the 12th of June by flying over Chamoli in Uttarakhand. The chopper hovered over the Indian-Tibetan border police post located there for over 10 minutes at, uh, before disappearing behind the mountains. A similar violation was also reported on the 30th of April. Our deputy editor Shivaroor is with us uh, in our newsroom for more details. Shiv, coming against the backdrop of the Chinese external affairs minister, to New Delhi, this will be a source of concern. Uh, definitely will be a source of concern but not something that hasn't happened before uh, Simi uh, and also a very uh, you know more proof very very direct proof that uh, you know the diplomatic uh, sort of cordiality that happens in Delhi and Beijing between senior uh, leaders never necessarily reflects uh, you know uh, in the operational space where you know where the forces of the two countries uh, actually operate uh, whether it's Ladakh or Arunachal Pradesh or Sikkim or the line of actual control airspace uh, in Uttarakhand violations of this kind have happened in the past uh, not just by Pakistan but also obviously uh, by China remember last year uh, just ahead of that long intrusion into the Dalat Beg Oldie sector of northern Ladakh there had been two uh, airspace violations uh, at that time in Ladakh where helicopters frequently buzzed in now remember this happens in Joshimat in uh, in Uttarakhand where airspace violations are far less common uh, there but there are known helicopter and aviation bases uh, that China has has been building in forward areas all along uh, you know the line of actual control both as uh, for logistical purposes as well as for intelligence gathering but of course uh, the other purpose of these violations is to provoke and also as a sort of reminder uh, you know of the force levels that have been built up it's also a kind of provocation in the sense that India's own infrastructure on our side of the line of actual control uh, you know is far less developed uh, we have less forward landing grounds uh, less air bases uh, less helipads uh, you know close to the uh, border than China does so all of these violations serve as a as a provocation and a reminder of the superior position that China stands in vis-a-vis -vis India in these areas right uh, Shiv uh, stay on with us we also have uh, on the phone line retired Air Marshal AK Singh who's uh, with us uh, on the phone line. thanks so much for speaking to headlines today uh, Air Marshal AK Singh uh, do you see this as a provocation from the Chinese side well this has been China's policy for a fairly long time now and as Shiv was correctly assessing the situation when he spoke about it and said that uh, if you see the distance from uh, China into Joshimut area is hardly any and it does not take much for a Chinese helicopter or a fixed wing aircraft to uh, move across and go around that area and go back whether he has any ulterior motives or not is to be judged by MEA and other people but I would like to say one thing that is that it certainly is a provocation for any military incursion into another independent country is a grave provocation in my opinion and I'm sure the government of India would take appropriate action against it. Uh, Marshal Singh, uh, good evening, sir. This is uh, Shiv here. Thanks for joining us on this uh, with your uh, uh, with your perspective. Uh, it's you know violations of this kind have happened over and over again. They continue to happen, sir. You know, despite the seeming sort of diplomatic and political thaw between India and China, our leaders go there. Their foreign minister was here. There was a lot of cordiality. You know, a lot of positive things were said. Uh, you know about the country. Uh, you know, going forward. But why is it that it never really affects, uh, you know, what happens in the operational areas, sir? Uh, good evening, Shiv. Uh, you put it in a nutshell. I was very recently in Vietnam and there the situation is absolutely similar. Where have that moved the uh, drilling rig into the waters, which yes. Vietnam calls as East Vietnam Sea and China calls it as uh, South China Sea. So uh, their way of provocation, uh, providing provocation to any and all countries and uh, at the same time China is saying that they will not move any military might into the yeah. uh, East uh, Vietnam or uh, South China Sea. Similarly in India, they keep on coming with their policy of uh, saying that they will uh, do everything possible to resolve the boundary issues but they never have moved up to it ever, ever at all. And the passport issue is still hanging in the balance. But is there, is there anything, uh, you know, more severe, if I could use that word, that India, uh, you know, can do to actually react to such situations and violations, Air Marshal? Because, uh, you know, registering protests, holding border meetings are definitely part of the mechanism. Uh, is there something more that India can or should be doing in your view? 
No, in my view, you see, India uh, can or cannot would be a decision to be taken at the highest of levels. Yes. Because as a chief of Western Air Command, if I was given the orders, then we can uh, certainly make sure that no in incursions ever occur because you can shoot it down. Helicopter, after all, is not such a big issue. But yes. would it serve the purpose? I'm afraid that my knowledge level as far as the national requirements are concerned will not be able to give you an assessment whether we should yes. we should take this provocation any further and which may result in uh, escalating the issue. I would say that we leave that decision to those who are entrusted yes. with the task of taking that decision. But thank it you. is a provocation. Yes. For sure. Definitely a provocation. Air Marshal Singh, thank you very much uh, for joining us uh, on this big breaking story this evening here on Headlines today. So, see me, it is a provocation. It has happened before. There's a mechanism in place to actually deal with it. But of course, it's uh, uh, the provocation is that much more amplified because it was just a few days ago that the finance min uh, the, the foreign minister of China uh, was in Delhi, perhaps. Absolutely. So, some uh, more concerns uh, for the Narendra Modi government. Uh, which has been trying to engage with China as well. Shiv, thanks so much for taking us through this developing story.